Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I decided I'm going to do a thing that I thought I'd never do but it's going down today. So we got this bumper right here. Got hit a few times. And we got a Dremel. We're going to do a bumper cut on this. I got some other bumpers over there. They're aftermarket. They didn't really fit that well, but but I decided to do this bumper cut. See how it'll look, just for fun. Give me something to do this afternoon. So let's figure out how we're gonna do this and get started. So I picked up some masking tape and a couple more of uh, the grinding cutoff wheels and some black paint for the fast bar. Probably had to paint that. Uh, so first off, probably figure out how we're going to cut this. I have a general idea. I am going to go pretty high up. But I want to keep the, the corners kind of rounded. So let's figure it out with some tape and get going. Like I said in the last clip, I'm going to keep this kind of rounded right in here. So I'm probably going to go with this body line, do a curve here, and then also here. So kind of like an S going through here to make it look OEM from all the way from the side and just have the bumper cut right here. Pretty much getting rid of all this. how I'm gonna have the cut this inner right here so the cuts gonna be on the top part of this and the inside of this tape and then come down and have another bend right there I think I got it where I want it so what I did is I took a piece of paper and traced it over here just to get the two points where it hits right there and right there uh, I went over that side put it down and then I just took this point where the trunk ends and made a line down on both sides and did a measurement here to here with six inches. So then I took my paper and did the same thing. Put that first point at six inches. I'll trace it right there. No going back. wearing a mask well that got pretty crazy <laughs> I didn't realize how much it would fly everywhere but I got the main cut done I started cutting down the bumper I was gonna take that section out over here need to change out my blade but yeah and then I'll cut it down here and then I'll do the fine cutting on the corners well got this piece cut off I should have planned this a little bit better I was more worried about getting rid of the damaged spot but I think I cut way too high yeah I cut way too high I should have left it hanging down a little bit but oh well like I said this is all just for fun There's that cut that I wanted. Of course, I'm gonna have to trim it up a little bit with some file or sandpaper, but it didn't really work to get one big chunk out of there. I did, but there's a lot of little pieces I had to trim up, so I'll probably get a piece of cardboard, put it behind that, and just trace it and go to the other side and do that cut. 
but that's how it's looking so far. I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to be painting this black and probably anything else you can see right there black to hide it. Just got back from Harbor Freight getting a couple more cutting wheels. I did take this cardboard and trace out the curve here. So I'll cut this out, go to the other side, tape it the way I need it to be cut, cut it, and then uh, we'll start trimming this up a little bit better. Getting all the plastic, melt plastic off. I think I'm going to have to put some kind of supporting rods up here to hold this so it doesn't flap in the wind. We'll figure out something, make it look good. So let's get going. Well, I got the cut all done, as you saw in that last clip. I think it turned out pretty good. So now we need to sand this edge that I cut all the way across. Bought some 120 grit sandpaper, cut my DA here. using 80 grit and then you saw I used the razor blade just to get all, off all the melted plastic that I couldn't get on the bends. But now what we're going to do is remove this bar, clean it off and paint it. done with it it turned out pretty good I mean I would never do this to a good bumper I was bored you know there's nothing else to do so why not try it out but it turned out pretty good I would have changed a few things now after seeing it but here you guys go So what do you guys think? You guys like it? What would you guys do differently? I try to keep it as smooth as possible. Right here, it dips down because that's where the bumper got hit. So, other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm looking for an OEM bumper, but I thought I'd just rock this for a little bit. Yeah, so let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.